what's up guys another review for you 1872 by clive christian what a beauty i love this one guys is shown is the creator of course he's created a lot of great perfumes out there as you guys know and, and fragrances notes let me get on with these um a couple of them i'll have a trouble pronoun pronouncing but uh, lots and lots of notes in this one so let me get on with it uh, the top notes you have galvanum grapefruit lime bergamot mandarin orange pentagrain you have pineapple, peach, lavender, rosemary, pepper, and nutmeg, just in the tops. That's a lot of notes. Uh, for the middle, you have cyclamen, clary sage, friche. You have uh, tegetis, I'm hopefully saying that right, and jasmine. And then for the base, you have Virginia cedar. You have patchouli, uh, olibanum, labdanum, amber, and musk. So like I said, a lot, lot going on in, in this one. A lot of people think this is just kind of a fresh citrusy fragrance and they leave it alone at that, but I think there's so much more depth to this one. This is really, really kind of a masterpiece scent when, when you do think about it. There's a lot going on. It, it has that way of staying fresh, but there's it, it does get more dense. It gets a little bit deeper. It, it's dry. It's it, There's just a lot, lot going on. So getting out with that first spray, uh, you do get a blast of like kind of the grapefruit, bergamot, lime. It does have that. Then within... I mean, I don't want to say seconds, but I guess maybe like 30 seconds to a minute, it automatically kind of sweetens up a little bit. And I'm not talking like gourmand sweet at all. I'm just saying it has that that little bit of sweetness and, and, and kind of a fresh herbal scent. It's almost like not really grass grassy, but it, it does have that herbal greenness kind of going on. There, It does get a little bit woody towards the dry down. There's some cedar in there, I know. Uh, so you do get a little bit of the, the woodiness, but this I think it's just like the clary sage. You have, you have just a lot of those herbal notes in there that, that really have keep it kind of on that fresh spiciness um, vibe kind of. Now you do have the lavender, you have musk. So there's a lot kind of going on where it's, it's not really going to give you that old, I'm thinking maybe in the first few minutes you're going to kind of get that old fashioned kind of, you know, 70s, 80s powerhouse you know, like a hairy chest masculine fragrance kind of thing going on, but just give it a little bit and, and you're really gonna get those great uh, blended citruses, flor there's even some nice florals in here. I know the jasmine kind of shines through with this. Um, so just, you got a lot lot going on. Peach, mandarin orange, it, it, I'm not really gonna say it's it's fruity. Uh, it leans a little bit more to that, uh, that that herbal kind of greenness going on. But guys, it is just, and then like I said, towards that bottom, there's no vanilla or you know tonka bean or anything like that that, that would sweeten it up. But it does have just a little bit of the uh, sweetness, maybe it's the amber, uh, you know, something going on in there. Uh, and again, I don't want to say resinous either, with like amber is usually resinous, so it's not really resinous, it's just more of a nice, fresh, herbal, clean, citrusy scent. And what's nice is you do still get uh, hints of that citrus, you know, even towards the middle and a little bit towards the dry down, so that kind of never really goes away. But kind of like a, a modern twist to that old school kind of. 80s vibe a little bit, but it does, it's very wearable. Uh, you know, a lot of people have complimented me with this one, and it's really not a great, you know, I wouldn't say a total compliment getter. It's not like a, you know, an easy, you know, Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, anything like that. It's, it's a much more dense and much more deeper kind of fragrance than, than that. I think there's a lot more going on with this one, but it is just a really, really great, easy to wear fragrance. Price tag is a little hefty, but I know for 50 milliliters, People are paying up to four or five hundred dollars for, for certain fragrances, and I really think this one is worth that three hundred fifty dollar price tag. Now, again, some people may disagree. No big deal. I mean, it's opinions. I know that, but I think there's just a you can really pick up a lot of these beautiful notes that are that are coming through. So beautiful top citrus, middle florals, a little bit of that woodsiness going on towards the dry down. You get that nice musk. Uh, you know, it's it just it's just all just really really great fragrance. At the end of the day, though, it still has kind of that fresh herbal, um, you know, those fresh herbal notes kind of going on in there. So really great fragrance. Uh, times to wear. I think, of course, like uh, summer, obviously, summer with the citrus still kind of fresh herbal. Uh, you know, springtime, this would be great. And even even like kind of the warmer fall, fall times. Ages, this is kind of more of a mature scent, I would say. I mean, younger guys could probably pull it off, but it does still have that kind of 
Now, I don't want to say 80s vibe and, and uh, old-fashioned vintage vibe, but it does have more of that kind of more of a masculine feel to it, you know, the, the, like a like an older masculine kind of touch to it. Um, you know, great, great, great fragrance. Like I said, presentation is off the charts. Obviously, Clive Christian. There, there's perfume uh, versions of this. I think in like 30 mil, which really, really go for uh, a lot of money. Very expensive fragrance house. So, um, sorry with the lights and everything. I don't want to be glaring this too much in there, but. Uh, 1871 nice this is just kind of like the outer box so if you can see that and um, it does have yeah, it does this one's 311 a for your if anyone know if anyone wants to know like batch numbers I literally got this probably end of 2012 2013 so I'm not again I'm not too familiar with what changes they've made or anything but I know the bottles are still the same that beautiful that crown bottle I just love that bottle. It is beautiful. Sprayer's decent, nothing crazy, but it's nice. Yeah, there it is. It's, you get that kind of that older, older vibe in the beginning of it, but man, something just comes around. Amber, there's something that just kind of sweetens it up a little bit and it's just gorgeous. But there's the bottom. Hopefully that's coming in focus for you, but just a great, great bottle. I had a nice big sample of it. I went through that already and I'm already kind of down to there on this, on, on the juice level here. So, but excellent. Uh, and then the inner box, which is really, really nice. This is well constructed. It's got the little, you know, their little crescent right there. And then that beautiful inner, you got that really nice uh, silk. It's really nicely padded uh, there as well. And then of course you have the, the Clive Christian emblem right there. And this is all nice and padded. So. Again, I love a I love a nice box. You know, it, it just makes the makes the fragrance. You know, presentation again, it's not as important as the you know the the fragrance inside the bottle, but it does. It looks great on a shelf, and it's just really when you grab it out of there, it's just it makes you feel kind of special. You know, it's three hundred fifty dollars, so it's expensive. You know, so you want to make sure that when you're grabbing something that expensive, you want to feel uh, you want to feel good about it. You know, so but guys, eighteen seventy two Clive Christian. Uh, hopefully I gave a good description. This one's kind of tough, you know. It's it's not as easy as just saying, hey, it's it's citrusy and it's bright because there there is some things going on in there. And oh, it's just a really it comes off my skin really nice, you know, and um, you know, kind of has that clean herbal freshness, but there's some some depth in there too. It's kind of dry too. It's it's just a really it's nice, you know. There's a little bit of that pepper in there, and um, it just. Great fragrance, 1872 guys, Clive Christian. Thank you guys so much again for the support. I really love watching uh, all your videos out there, all the reviewers, great stuff. You know, all the all the new guys, all the old school guys, old school guys are kind of hanging in there, and then the mid school, like you know me, my boy Max and Sebastian, and all the all those kind of guys. I mean, we I just I love watching all your channels. So just keep on doing your thing and hang in there and uh, hopefully you guys stick with it because I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm loving this stuff more and more every day. So thank you guys again. Uh, Rise Frakes 34, appreciate it.